7th Annual Glamour Women of the Year Award celebrating a diverse and empowering group of female innovators, actors and activists, educators and entertainers. Cindy Levy is Glamour's Editor-in-Chief and she's here along with one of this year's honorees and cover stars, Gigi Hadid. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I was just going to say, it's going to be a long night. you got this big event tonight. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gigi, I mean, when you found out you're going to be one of Glamour's Women of the Year and you saw the company you're in, yeah. <laughs> what went through your mind? I mean, I've heard so many good things about the event and every year people show up just to hear what the women have to say and it's always such a powerful and emotional night and so I'm so excited and it's, so, it's such an honor. It's, it's kind of crazy. I'm still kind of surprised. Crazy. You deserve thank it. Thank you. <laughs> and Cindy, you chose Gigi for not just because she's a beautiful cover model, but because she's so much more. No, absolutely. I mean, everybody knows her, obviously, as a supermodel. You've got, what is it, 37 million, probably up to 38 million by the end of this segment, <laughs> followers on Instagram. But what really impresses me is that she's got a resume as a businesswoman that is as long as your arm. She's got collaborations with Stuart Weitzman and Maybelline, a very successful series of fashion collections with Tommy Hilfiger. Um, I could go on and on, but the interesting thing is that every single person who has worked with Gigi on all of these partnerships and collaborations says she works so hard. She takes it so seriously. She's always the first to show up, the last to leave, and I think that's a great message for any young woman who wants to achieve anything in any field, whether it's fashion or politics. And I was reading about you, Gigi. I mean, that sounds, it's your mom who gave you that advice when you started going to work she said yeah be the hardest worker there yeah if you're not the prettiest most hard working or there's gonna be someone prettier nicer more hard working in the fashion industry so <laughs> um yeah she just you know always told me to just bring my all and you can leave other things at home in order to you know be there fully for the day and you know show up and yeah the you have 37 million Instagram followers, so obviously we'll be taking a selfie right after this. But, <laughs> but you know, that gives you a platform. Yeah. And what does that mean to you? Because, you know, you could just be promoting yourself or your products, right. but it, it sounds to me that you want to speak out yeah. and have a real voice. Yeah, well, I think that it's easiest to speak out when it comes from a place that's genuine and something, you know, that it's something that changes for me through my life of what's important to me at the moment. I think something that's been really important to me this year and something that I'll speak about tonight is just, and especially, you know, it's come in with my, with my collaborations, like with Reebok, I'm the face of Reebok and it's the perfect never campaign, which is mm -hmm. someone in my, industry might be looked at as perfect but it's a huge importance to let little girls know that just because I'm winning this award doesn't mean that everything's figured out and I wake up on days and it's not necessarily that I feel like woman of the year every morning mm -hmm. um, and you have to find the things that make you feel more powerful in yourself look up to women that inspire you for all different reasons whether it's going on a walk at 5 a.m. just to get some inspiration or donate your time to charity or whatever, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. um, we all have to find the power every day and it's important. Mm -hmm. Cindy, this is the end of an era for you as well. You're leaving Glamour. I am. You were editor in chief for, is it 14 years? 16 years, 16 actually. 16 years. I, know. I, I mean, I can't really imagine it without you. <laughs> Why did you decide to go and what have you, I, I guess, how have things changed over this time period that you have watched for women? Well, it's so, it's so interesting. I've been thinking a lot about that since I am leaving. And, you know, so many things have gotten better for women, but I, to me, the most exciting change is how outspoken women are right now. Right. I think there is a sense of, like, you know, Listen, world, if you're not respecting us, if thing, you know, if policies don't work for us, if we're not seeing ourselves represented as fully and in, in all of our diverseness as we would like, we're gonna say something and we're gonna change things. I mean, it's what you're seeing right now with all of the Me Too movement on social media. It's what you're seeing with women starting their own businesses. I think there is a sense of slight healthy impatience, a feeling of right. like, you know, we're we're gonna make change if the world isn't changing fast enough. I find that exhilarating. Cindy, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations, you. Gigi. Thank I know you. it's going to be a great event tonight. Thank Take a nap because so it's a long, it's yeah, a very really early late so. night. We have a good time in, in between. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Thank you so much. And we should mention Glamour Women of the Year issue is on newsstands now. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.